guys, so how's it going? Um, today is going to be a different video. We're actually going to be looking after me lizard Margo because she has an eye infection. So if you just come over here. There she is there. We'll just grab her out. She loves sitting on that fountain or running water. But if you look on this side, I'm just get a bit of light on it. You can see she has an eye infection. So we're just going to be dealing with that today and taking care of her and making sure she gets a bit of food. So what I'll do first is I'll just get a cotton bud and I'll just have a cup of water here. So I'll just rub it across the eye just to try to get her to open it up a bit. Um, so I can put the drops in her and she has fluid behind the eyelid so um, we do that to try to get her to open it, let that fluid out and hopefully it heals up soon so it takes a few minutes just to get her to open up her eye but when you're doing this you want to do it lightly just so you're not putting pressure on her eye ball This is Margot. She is a five year old mountain horn dragon and they originate from the rainforest. So as you saw in the enclosure, um we have the wet water fountain so underneath the heat light so it gives off moisture and humidity in the air because they enjoy that. And they can't see still water either, so you need to have running water for them. Light on. So she's opening up her eye a little bit and there's dirt in it. You can see her eyes open, just the slightest. So, what I'll do now is put one of her eye drops in, and this is this stuff that I use. You just put one drop in three times a day, so spread it out morning, noon, and night. So, all it takes is one drop. You just get it on the eyeball and I let it sit there for a few minutes. Just as you saw there, she opens and closes her eye a little bit and it just walks in. So I'll try to get the infection out. But this is the little one that, oh there she goes. This is the little one that laid the 17 eggs. And I have Fran here behind the camera. We're just after checking the eggs and you can see the embryo growing inside them. So it looks like we're going to have little babies. Which is going to be good because... We've been looking in Ireland and you can't really find them. Mountain horns, they're hard. That's um, Rubbles, the bearded dragon there. She's the one that laid the other eggs. And that's Pebbles. So I'll get them out in a few minutes. There you can see there. You can see a bit of fluid. Or discharge coming out of her eye. So I'll just clean that off with a baby wipe. Oh, ah, yeah, it's cotton bud. That's just all the infection inside it coming out. That's what the yolk, um, the eye drops helps with. I'm going to be feeding her now. So what I do to feed her is the same. I have just a cup of water here and a bottle cap. 
because the bottle cap holds two syringe loads of water. That's the water, and I have this. It is critical care. So it's the formula. It's those a mix of energy, proteins, and nutrients that um they need. So all you do is grab a little pinch and put it on top. Hold it down for a second. You just grab a little pinch and put it in on top of that water there. Yeah, I know it does give it a little store with the syringe. So it's two mils of water to one little pinch of the powder. You just try get it open our mouth. And you just put a little bit of pressure on the end of the syringe so it goes in little by little so you're not overfilling them out. But if you get closer, you can hear her swallowing it. It's like a little grunting noise. I have for about, about two and a half years now. When I first got her, um, they never had UV lights on her, so that's why she's so small. Um, I got her in the proper setup, and within two days of owning her, she shed for me, and it was like five or six layers thick of shed that was stuck on her which is not good sometimes when, uh, when the shed gets stuck on their feet it actually cuts off the circulation and their toes can fall off or their tail so I'm just going to try to give her a little bit more of this Open up. Sometimes if you drop a bit on their on their nose, you just leave it there, they'll open up. So usually she'll only take one and a half syringe from me, she won't take the full tail. What I think is cool about them is, if you can see with the lighter, they're right, they have a gold ring around our pupil. I think that does looks cool.
So that's one syringe hole done. So you can notice um, we have her on this three days and you can notice she's more active, her colour is coming back in um, and they get sick and stuff they change colour so her original colour is brown and you can see the yellow on her neck there she has that kind of all over but um, she's been very dark lately Obviously because she's out there laying the eggs and she has her eye infection. So we'll get this other bit into her. You can see more of that discharge coming out of her eye on the other side. There, that's about two and a half, and she's finished drinking. She won't take any more from me. You can see the discharge coming out there. Just get a little bit of water on that, and if you can see under the light there, you can see bits of dirt that's coming out of her eye. So I think when she was digging to lay her eggs, that's when she actually uh, she got some of the subtrae into her eye right, and it's just after getting infected. So that's the video today. Um, if you like them, leave a comment and let us know if you want to see more of the reptiles or I have dogs as well and a cat. So if you want to see more of them types of videos, leave a comment. See you later.